Hello, this is Malorian, and this is going to be a 2,000 point game of my orcs up against some Bretonians. Alright, so the mission we got here was Battle for the Pass. Uh, the little thing on the left is the thing that lets you throw four dice at channeling. Uh, the thing on the right is going to be giving you frenzy. But uh, probably the main thing you're noticing is the fact that there's a lot of chariots in my army. And that's because I uh, have been toying with this idea, finally got the trades in that let me put this army together. And in 2,000 points, I'm going to have three units of three wolf chariots, three boar chariots. Uh, for my troops, I'm going to have three units of 50 night goblins with nets and a banner. And then I have a orc BSB with a great weapon on a chariot, and I gave him gambler's armor because it just seemed to fit the list. I just saw the name of the item and had to take it. And then I have a level 4 that's on a chariot with a scroll, and then I also have my war boss that's on a chariot, and all he has is a charm shield. So... Here you go. Uh, up on the other side, I'm up against Bretonians. This is a person I've never played before in fantasy. He's always been playing other systems. And on the left, he has three Pegasus Knights. He has a Paladin on a Pegasus uh, Trebuchet. Then uh, that's a block of Grail Knights. And in there, he has his level 2 uh, Lord and BSB. And then two units of 12 or whatever it is, uh, Knights of the Realm. So... Really, when I, I had a, a matchup like this, I really planned to take his charge on the nose with the night goblins and then counter with the chariots. But between it being battle for the pass and with that terrain on the left, which is going to be impassable, uh, it's going to be really making it a little bit difficult. But I think I could still pull it off. should be fine. And uh, especially if I can get off some of those foot of gorks, uh, it should go great. I just got to make sure that uh, trebuchet doesn't land on my characters and kill them. And here's a close-up of his army, all nicely painted. Bretonians is always such a nice army. And then here's, uh, well, a close-up on some of my three character chariots here. And, you know, character chariots are just fun to put together. I know an eighth and the template weapons hitting both mount and character means that they're death traps. But you know what? They look great and they're fun. So he vanguarded up with his... Pegasus Knights, he prayed, then I took first turn. The wolves on the left side charged him, and he fled and got away. And then otherwise, I'm just moving on up. Uh, in the magic phase, I went for Photogork, and he used a silver mirror to stop it and put a wound on my mage. But otherwise, I'm just pretty much getting myself into position. And yeah, unfortunately, I deployed idiotically. Uh... I really was not thinking of how far away he was. I was just moving my stuff up. And my wolf chariots, which are supposed to be a countering unit, were the farthest thing ahead. And so all of a sudden he got a charge on them. I was really wondering about fleeing, but I thought the way that this is going to warp pan out, I'd be able to counter with the other units anyway. But then he also declared the charge with his grail knights on my night goblins. And this was a far charge. We're talking like it's, it's over needing a 12. However, he is loaded up with items in there, so he has an extra dice on the charge, and he also has plus one movement, and he made the charge. So, this could go south really quick. And after everything, this is what it looked like. So, the Peg Knights, they rallied. The one Peg uh, character moved over. His other lance is swinging over. He tried dropping a rock onto my Shaman, but it scattered off ten inches. And, uh, yeah, his magic didn't really do anything, the entire game, either he was failing the cast or I, I scrolled it, so I'm just going to ignore it from this point. But if, from what you can see here, it's just what you expected. Uh, Grail Knights, Slaughter Knight Goblins, I'm steadfast. Uh, the Wolf Chariots get slaughtered, especially because, remember, he has Frenzy, so all those Knights are getting two attacks, and then he's into my General. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm really hoping my Counter Charge works. End of my turn two looks like this. Uh, pretty much, I had the board chariot join in with the Grail Knights. That helped kill some, but uh, actually, I held. He has the banner there so that I don't get any rank bonus. So, uh, an expensive banner, but it's making it so he's the one winning combats. And then in there, I mean, I, I counter with my, my chariots there. Uh, I kill a good number. I, I'm in a challenge with my shaman on his uh, one knight errant there. But uh, in the end, I, I think... I can't remember who won this combat. I think he might have won it by a musician. But the main thing is I need to get in there and try and beat them. I'd love to have gotten my night goblins in there too. But it's just not possible. So they're just getting ready to deal with the knights on the other side. 
His turn then, he has the Lance charge into the Night Goblins on the right, and he has his Pegasus charge into the Board Chariot on the left. And in the end, it looks like this. So, uh, you can see we're still grinding away with the Pegasus Knights there. Uh, his Stone Thrower went after my one Chariot, scattered, and just got a partial for a single wound. Um, the On the right there, killed Night Goblins, I'm Steadfast. And in uh, the center there, yeah, it was great. You know, he did one more wound to nothing. Actually, yeah, he just flopped everything. Couldn't wound a single thing. Uh, and then I killed a good number of them, and he broke. And uh, I did, didn't catch him, but now I'm going to be set up to counter on the left unit and then catch him on my turn. And as you can see in the other combat, killed more of my stuff. I'm steadfast. My turn three then, this is going to be awesome. On the right, I have my wolf chariots flanking there. Uh, my one other chariot, the, the BSB chariot, was able to catch the knights when they fled from that charge. And then my war boss and my shaman are going into the flank here. And just to say about the magic phase, I get off fists of gork. So he's on the one wound, but he's going to be really strong. And so in the end, it looks like this. Uh... My board chariot had joined in on the left side. The Pegasus Knights were all destroyed. Uh, with Hand of Gork, I was able to use that move that unit to behind them in case I needed them. Of course, the one unit of Knights on the right side, they broke and they ran down. And then this main combat, it was just nuts. Uh, what happened is that he, I, he made a challenge with his general. And his general is pretty tough. Well, he was not able to do the last wound to my shaman. My shaman was able to kill his general, and then otherwise, I just pretty much killed the entire Grail Knight unit. There's just now his BSB on one wound. Uh, I think he has another pal, or maybe there's one Grail Knight there, and then there's the damsel. And so at this point, he just says, hey, you know what, let's, <laughs> let's just call it here, because it's over. So, victory to the orcs, and this was, I mean, for screwing up that first turn, it was nice to be able to fight back and uh, make this happen. Uh, of course, if you compare the two lists, I, I do believe he was a little bit character heavy, so, I mean, if he would have had, uh, say, dropped the Lord and had another Lance in there, or dropped the Paladin uh, on the Pegasus and take another unit of Pegasus, you know, it, it could be very different, but uh, the main thing is, it was just, Fun to pull out all these chariots and fun to have the game and guess I gotta try and start painting them now. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.